seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy, so I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere, and soon you will forget like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile, like I could almost grab them. Put my fingers around them. And tear them off. If I do, will you scream? Will I hear your voice?
open doors. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? Should I try to take it off its hinges? Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? And what happens when it opens? Do I close it behind me? Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Consider and consider 
Maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. But what if I need them? What if the keys can one day open the door I want? What if the poems help me befriend a new partner? What if the arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance? There are too many ifs. But I'm also too afraid to find out the truth. So I let them stay with me. Slowly becoming a part of me, helping me grow. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. These fingers won't stop, squirming and coiling around everything they feel. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. I would be saddened if my body grew too much because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. Hey, have you ever attempted to help yourself grow by mercilessly taking away from someone else? Have you? These hands, are these my hands? A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. So you won't look at me, even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. Can you hear it? My skin is pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world. Wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me. And we can both be fulfilled. Ah, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good with words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. This being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those back.
has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. One born out of honest gratitude. But there is one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Ah, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see?
see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do.